In this video, we will show you how to use the ATV320 drive to run using terminal control, which is your DI1 terminal as a run command, to wire. And also use the dial of the drive as a means of speed reference. So from your main display, you want to enter to go into your menu list, and you want to scroll down and look for CONF, and then enter. Next, you want to go down to full, enter again, and now you want to scroll down to the CTL, which is your command menu. So once you see that, enter. The first parameter is the FR1 parameter. This is your speed reference parameter. And since you want your dial to be your speed reference, you want to make sure that the FR1 is set to A1U1, which is your actual dial. Now, one thing that I want to show you actually before we do this, uh, you want to make sure that your profile is separate because your run command is coming from terminals and your speed is coming from the keypad. So, you want to make sure your actual profile is set to separate first. So, before we even get signed FR1, let's just go ahead and scroll down to CHCF parameter, which is your profile parameter under the control menu. And let's make that separate. And from the factory, it's on the same reference, so let's make it SEP for the parameter CHCF. Make sure you press enter on every single assignment when you're changing a parameter value. <clears throat> and once you're back to CHCF, now you can go counterclockwise back up to FR1. And you want to go ahead and change that to A1U1, which is your dial. So once you see that, enter. <clears throat> and of course it will spit you back to FR1 <clears throat> excuse me so once you're back to FR1 now you can go ahead and set your command which is the CD1 parameter so CD1 is your actual active channel for starting and stopping and the FR1 parameter is your active channel for speed reference so we already have programmed your speed to come from your dial which is A1U1 now we want to make sure that your profile I'm sorry, not your profile, but your command now is looking at your terminal. So CD1, when you press enter, you want it to be on terminal, which it is in most cases, but just make sure your CD1 is terminals. So now that you've done that, you can escape back out. And one thing I want to show you here is when you want to change your speed, when you give it a run command and you want to change your speed, you want to go ahead and enter to go to reference and there again and you'll see that you will actually go into uh, A1U1 so when you first press enter on it on reference it will actually show your current active reference as a means of speed and of course you can ramp it up up and down as much as you want with your dial and keep in mind that as you are uh, ramping it up slowly or faster you can just keep you turning your dial to go fast but you do have a range of 0 to 100 percent as an actual speed reference for you for your dial and um, you can escape back out to see your main actual speed as well but just keep in mind that you will have to go into reference and then enter on reference to actually see and adjust your speed while you're running your drive and this is how you program the ATV320 drive to use your DI1 for starting and stopping terminals and you use your keypad dial, your dial the drive, as a means of speed reference.